Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with Hogwarts Legacy game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to increase the virtual memory. So the minimum RAM required to play this game is 16 GB. I have 8 GB, so my calculation shows as per 8 GB. But if you have 16 GB or 32 GB, so you calculate accordingly. Now the next step is to turn off these options. So launch the game first. Now go to settings. Now select display options. Now over here you can select window full screen. You can even try window mode and then check. But now I'm selecting window full screen. Now once you select window full screen, you won't be able to change resolution now if you select window mode in that case you can if it is set to 4k you can try lower resolution you can set it to 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now now if upscale type is set to amd fsr 2 uh, you can try amd fsr 1 or for nvidia users you can even try nvidia nis and then check now once you select whatever you want to select you can try first of all you can try nvidia nis if you have nvidia card if that does not work you can try amd fsr 1 or amd fsr 2 so whatever you select over here select quality first so if you have selected amd fsr 2 then you can select amd fsr 2 quality you can even try fsr 2 balance or performance so try quality first if that does not work you can try balance or performance and check which one is working fine for you you can even turn this off if that does not work you can select none over here and then check now scroll down over here you can see nvidia reflects low latency turn this off scroll down turn off vsync if vsync is on you can turn it off you can enable the vsync in nvidia control panel if you have nvidia graphics card now over here you can try uncapped and then check if that does not work many users have capped the fps so you can also try capping the fps at 60 75 or maybe 120 and ch check which one is giving you stable performance so you can also lock the fps and get a stable performance uh, this has given stable performance to many players so you can try that or you can keep it uncapped now scroll down over here you can see motion blur you can turn this off you can also turn off depth of field So turn all these options off, turn off film grain, so turn this off, now go to graphics option, now over here if everything is set to ultra, if global quality preset is set to ultra you can select high, you can even try medium or you can even go for low. Now. Scroll down. Now over here you can see texture quality. So set the texture quality to low. So select low over here. Now scroll down. At the end over here you can see all the ray tracing options. So turn off all the ray tracing options. So turn off ray tracing reflections, shadows. So turn off everything, turn off ray tracing, apply the settings and then check the performance. Now once you have disabled the vsync in game, now if you want to enable the vsync in nvidia control panel, open nvidia control panel, so make a right click on the desktop then click on nvidia control panel. Now go to program settings over here, manage 3D settings, then program settings, then click on add. Go to the game installation folders, 
click on browse and go to the game installation folder select the game exe file or you can select the game from the list so over here if you see the game select the game now select high performance nvidia processor and then find vsync so over here you can see vertical sync now over here you can turn this on and then click on apply and then launch the game now next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia now go to nvidia website now select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search and then scroll down and then the latest geforce game ready driver right now is 528 period 24 click on get download and then again click on download and then once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to roll back graphics driver now for this again go to nvidia website now select your graphic card from the list select the right operating system click on start search and the latest one right now is 528 period 49 so you can roll back to 528 period 24 or you can even try 528 period 02 now this has worked for many players so you can try this download the file run the exe file and during the installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game and then check next which tool is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive select c drive open c drive open program files x86 now open steam folder now open steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in f drive so open the steam library steam apps common and then open the game folder select this game exe file now click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and this time open the phoenix folder then open binaries folder win64 folder select this exe file now click on add once this is added go to options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to disable control flow guard now for this type in exploit protection in windows search box and then click on exploit protection now go to program settings and then click on add a program to customize then select click on this plus and then click on choose exact path and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder and then select this exe file now click on open on this new screen scroll down over here you can see control flow guard now by default this would be on over here it will be like this so so you have to go ahead and put a check on override system settings and then turn this off if this is on turn it off so put a check over here override system settings and then turn this off then click on apply click on yes to allow again click on choose exact file path this time open the phoenix folder binaries folder win64 select this exe file now click on open and again go to control flow guard and then put a check on the box which says override system settings and if this is on turn this off and then click on apply click on yes to allow and then launch the game and then check the performance next step is to disable overclocking so if you have if you have over overclocked your hardware remove the overclocking also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner running close msi afterburner if you have reward tuner running close reward tuner so close all the overclocking application also disable steam overlay for this go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties 
and then uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game so uncheck this box and then close all the over overlay application so if you have discord running or g force experience running or nvidia shadow play overlays on turn this off so close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to close obs so if obs is running close obs quit obs and then launch the game also close all the background application so make sure that you close everything including all the browsers so if you have browsers open close all the browsers and then launch the game so make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so try launching the game on single monitor unplug all the usb devices which you are not using so if you have these devices connected disconnect it also if you have this software running close this software and then check the performance now if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to move or reinstall the game on ssd now this has worked for many players so launching the game from ssd has worked so you can try this so if you have an option to install the game on ssd you can try that so make a right click and then select manage click on properties and then go to local files and then click on move install folder if you have ssd you can select ssd and then click on move and try launching the game from ssd or you can simply uninstall the game uninstall the game after the uninstall restart your computer and try reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd try, install the game to different ssd and then try launching the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to improve the fps and fix the stuttering with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel